going on everybody welcome back here to another video flip ribbon outdoors today got an early morning here <sighs> kicking off the first ice and trip of the new 2023 year i'm actually gonna go pick up my cousin casey right now he's waiting at his house for me but yeah plan today we're gonna go do some pan fishing to the ice out at uh, pine view reservoir so uh without further ado i'm just gonna take my time picking my way through the snow and get over there pick him up safely and we'll go catch ourselves some fish let's go Oh dear, <laughs> I, I have an edge a little soft there, Casey. Oh no, it's okay. Give me that rope. Well, who's the one who's holding the rope, sir? <laughs> I let go of the rope. I know you let go of the rope. All right, guys, we made it out here to the lake. We don't exactly know what we're doing out here, but you know, we're gonna give it a good old fashioned try. Target species from crappie, but we're gonna take just about every panfish we can get today. Any fish? Any fish? Casey wants a tiger muskie. <laughs> we'll drill some holes randomly, I guess, and try to catch some fish. Oh, it's so slushy. We don't know what we're doing, but let's go ahead and drill some holes, Casey. Only I fished out here once and it was a completely different part of the lake. Oh yeah, the actual ice. It's plenty thick. Yeah, what, what are we looking at? Man, we got quite the puddle. Six, Six and a half. half. Yeah. Send the fish finder down. I'm trying to keep this unit out of the freaking puddle. We'll put it on a foam pad later. Hey. Hey, there's hey, crappies down come look, there. Look at That's this. Them. That's them. That's them. They're suspended. Shut up a couple. Look at this. <laughs> That's them. Those are my trophies I'm fishing for. Oh my gosh. You see, you see, yeah, there's crappies. I yeah, see the crappies. There's fish here and they're suspended. Yeah, the crappies. Hopefully, you guys can see that, all right? There's a school of fish over here on the left side of the screen. There's a school of fish here. And there's a couple stragglers suspended. Sorry, you're gonna be fishing blind. <laughs> it's it's a normal thing. <laughs> I always well, at least you know there's fish below you for now. All right, let's get down there and get to business. Got myself a little tungsten jig here, supplied by a Do Life Outdoors. Grab a little waxy here. Oops, dropped him. All right, got that little tungsten, tasty mealworm. I mean a wax worm. Just a little finesse plastic on there. Send this puppy on down. Okay, I've got this never ending trend with this fish finder where first uh, was over there by Casey's chair, marked a ton of fish to the right, came set up over here. But the whole time I sat there, marked a ton of fish to the right. Come over here, there's a big school right below us, and now there's absolutely nothing on the screen. That, uh, that sounds about like the story of my life when it comes to ice fishing this season, especially with this unit, because I just keep chasing tail with the fish and they keep disappearing. Oh, there's one down there now. Start popping walls. Cool. Drop down for the other one. You see him off to the left. Come on. We suck at crappie. <laughs> nah, suck. The crappie just suck it. Oh, oh yes, yes, yes. Come on, come on, come on. Stay on, stay on, stay on, stay on. Stay on. I'm keeping you. Yeah. yeah. Yes, let's go. Woo! Right after you said we suck at crappie fishing. Give me some, dude. Yeah. I've never worked so hard for a freaking crappie in my life. Shoo, doggy. There we are, guys. Tough bite this morning, would you say? Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, dude. It's my first fish of this year. First fish of the 2023, dog. It's a little crappie. Crappie. Mine was a perch. All right, guys, there's a little bit better look at that fish for you. First crappie of the day. All right, guys, feel a little close up at the jig I'm using today right now. A little tungsten jig, like I was saying. Got this from Do Life Outdoors. You guys are local here in Utah. If you're ever doing some finesse ice fishing, 
for panfish or trout for that matter. Tungsten is great because tungsten is more dense than lead. So you can get a nice, small, slim, compact little profile, but still have weight and be able to get it down there deep. And then uh, I've got this guy tipped with a just a little finesse plastic on there to help entice these crappie into biting. I am so happy right now. Yeah, I'm way pumped, man. We caught something, man. <laughs> yeah, we. It's a group effort. You help pull the sled out. <laughs> Oh, oh, hello, hello, hello. Look at that school popping up. Got oh, yeah. One. Got one. That school just came in and he just slurped that. Come on, there he is. There oh, we yeah. are. That's an upgrade. Yeah. Woo! There we are, guys. Crappie on deck. There's still a bunch down there. I wonder if I'm going to eat this one here, too. Second fish down. Got that little tungsten right there as well. Oh, he didn't want to show you. Now he's got slush in his mouth, too. Oh, well. Do life outdoors, Tungsten hanging out of his mouth. Little paper mouth crappie, dude. Shoo, doggy. Dang, this hook got him good. Little sticky Japanese hooks on these guys here. Alrighty, guys. Well, I was uh, I was just double checking. I've got a little discount code here for you guys. Just making sure I had the right one before I told you. Got interrupted by some more crappie there. This is the company I was telling you about, Do Life Outdoors. It's a father and son, local here in Utah. If you guys want to support local little brand that's helping support me, while you're doing some finesse fishing, go ahead and check these guys out. Um, I'll have them linked down in the description below. If you go use the code LIPRIP15, capital L, capital R on lip and rip, that'll save you 15% off at checkout. Exclusive for my followers, so you can go save yourself some money. So these little tungsten jigs, I've actually got this little baggie out because I'm going to give Casey one. So currently we're two to nothing with him right now. So he's going to throw one of these puppies on and start slaying some fish, right? Yeah, that's my dream. <laughs> See, the thing is with these little tungsten jigs, they're really handy, really useful for ice fishing applications, but they can be pretty expensive. A lot of places, these are like three bucks a pot. With Do Life Outdoors, these guys, you can buy their package of tungstens like this for 22 bucks. I forget exactly how many come in. I think it's like 12 or something. It equates out to being somewhere like a buck 85 a piece. So it's definitely a lot cheaper than going to most of your retailers to buy them. Hooks are holding up great so far for these crappie. They're nice and sharp. If you guys enjoy watching the channel and want to help support the brands that help support me, go ahead and check out Do Life Outdoors. Pick yourself out some tungsten jigs and Maybe check out whatever else they got on their website. That discount code was LIPRIP15. It works on their whole website. Looks like we got some schools of fish moving in, so let's see if we can pick up a few more crappies. Well, Casey's got a little chartreuse tungsten jig head on there. I think that might entice him. Yeah. Yeah. He's actually he's actually using one of my rods too, with some four pound fluorocarbon. He's got some, uh, what, 10 pound monofilament over there? 12. 12 pound. So, I had one uh, bite, but he wanted to downsize a little bit. Yeah, these fish seem to be really finicky today. Tough bite, so I think yeah. uh, finesse is the name of the game, at least for right now. Yeah. Oh, uh, I think there's one high right here coming in. Yeah, that ain't you, huh? Hey, oh, oh he shot, shoot, shot he, Yeah, he shot over to you. You got the goods on now, too. Oh, huh? no, no, he went to your other rod. <laughs> he shot way uh, fast, Timmy. Oh, uh, yeah. And look who he's hanging out on now. <laughs> I'm, I never said panfish was my hat. I got it! Too. I got him! Yeah! <laughs> How the turn to table, Casey! You know, normally I outfish everyone else, but... Oh! Dude! Yeah, that's a slob! Slob crappie! Look at that! Bug eye paper mouth! Shoo! Yeah, his eyes are popping out, pulling from deep water. Dude, oh, he got it down there, too. Barely had him, too. It just came right out. Dude, that fish came checked out your jig. He shot, shot to it. Shot mine, and then I just I don't know how to jig ride or something. Yeah, yeah, you're working a little aggressive. Did you see how very little I was touching mine? You you want to touch him? You want you want you want? Oh yeah, you can pet him. <laughs> For sure. All right, this guy's going behind me right here with a friend. Hey Casey, keep him uh, busy while I get back down there, okay? Don't worry, I'll I'll get him in, in Jack down here. I think. Casey, left. where'd they go? What? <laughs> what? What are you? You had one job! Just keep oh, no, them distracted. They were to the left. Do you see him? I gave you one job. You're a terrible coworker. <laughs> Just kidding. Oh, yep, yeah. yep, he's on me. He's on me. Go well, get him. It's easy. That's all I do is get him on me, and I don't know how to catch him. Like, he's gone. Oh. oh, you got him! Oh, easy there, Casey. Easy, easy, easy. Just real, just real, just real, just real. Just keep pressure on him. Come on. Come on, Casey. Come on. Easy. Don't lose him at the hole. 
There you go. Get him up here. Yes. Give me some, dude. Oh, that was man. awkward. Here. Here, you want an actual high five? Let's try that. Yeah, baby. Woohoo. That ain't a bad one at all. You figured out the technique there a little bit? Yep. Oh, he actually gulped it, though. I know it. Casey on the board. Yep. First trophy of the day for me. <laughs> I'm coming to my jeans, oh, yep. baby. Oh, yep. Hey, you can't tell. You gotta pull on it down. You gotta pull on it. You can't go like that. Got him. On a Swedish pimple. Sweet. Heck yeah, buddy. On the jigging spin. Do it. Yes, sir. I guess I don't have Crabby. to swap. Yep. Guess I don't have to swap out that spoon after all, baby. Right at the top of the mouth. That, how's that for a perfect hook set? That's my fifth crappie on the ice. Dude, quarter of the way to my limit. You know, oh, look at all this crappie showing up in the middle up there. Holy cow. I'm in them. Oh, you gotta hit. Yeah, one. Got one on a dead stick Swedish pimple sitting down there in the middle of the school. It's That's another one. School. Dude, look at that one. Where's this jig at? Six crappie. Boom, in the pile. Okay. Okay. Dude, midday feeding frenzy, dog. Jeez, Casey freaking ripping them. There you go. Slab donkeys. Number four. And look, just like that, they disappear as soon as they appear. That's your fourth. Dude, what kind of noises are these? Casey, stop playing with your phone and catch the fish. Oh, got him. He was swimming sideways with it. On the flasher there. Another crappie? Oh, yeah. Yeah, crappie from the bottom. There's one on you, Casey. Got him on the jigging spoon. That's a seven for me. Casey's over here playing with his ringtones and stuff on his phone, and there's fish. Anyways, that's my seven fish. Third one for the Swedish pimple. Heck yeah. Alrighty, everyone. Here. Oh, if he can hear me, all right. Trying to block the wing from my back right here, but we're going to call it for the day out here. It was kind of slow for the most part, but you know, we did uh, get lucky and find ourselves a little location where they're schooling through and happened to be sitting there when a feeding window came around. So we managed to catch a 12 crappie and he got a perch as well. So not too shabby. All of our crappie are about nine and a half inches. We threw a few on the bump board. That seems to be our average running size. Not terrible sized fish out here as far as crappie go, I'd say. We would stay out here longer and try fishing the evening bite, but uh, my dad called me and I got some stuff I got to get home to. So we're going to take home our crappie we did catch. Probably do some fish frying with them. It's going to be a great time. Thank you guys for watching this video so much. If you enjoyed it, be sure to let me know by hitting that like button down below. And go ahead and subscribe to the channel if you guys haven't already. That way you can stay tuned for the next episode of Lip Proven Outdoors. And as always guys, until next time, tight lines and I'll catch you later.